Shalom, Paz de la comunidad de Kansas City, una vez hayas viajado a Hashem Yerusha, a Hashem Kagodash, when you make this quick, please discourage, don't call me, but this should be a quick one. <coughs> I'm going to title this video, Black Christians that are now Israelites. And this is based off of uh, a video that Vocab Malone put up. He did a uh, lecture and he cut it up in, I guess, seven, eight minute clips. And this particular one is uh, entitled uh, 21 Celebrities Who Promote Hebrew Israelism. He should have said 20. Well, it, I, gotta, I haven't watched the whole thing, but I watched enough of it to say I got to do a video on this. Uh, anyway, I'm 38 minutes. You can watch it from the very beginning, but I'm 38 minutes in. Let me go back a little bit more. Go to like 31. I might have to go back more so you can get the understanding, but let's just see what happens. When it's publicly it's known, I'm going to show who they are. Let's look at some of them. Go to the uh, next one. These are Christian hip hop artists, people in CHH. At least three people have come out in some way public identifying as Hebrew Israelites. You guys might know who they are. Let's take a look. We got and I don't keep up with the so called Christian hip hop. Um, anyway, I remember this guy. He was on uh, Jude 3. I did a video on him. And he, you know, says he's a Christian, but he's an Israelite. Ethnically, he's an Israelite. Uh, this guy, he's going to speak about which I believe he came up under him. And this guy, I don't know. But see, this is heathenist. He couldn't be like this. This individual right here, he couldn't be in G. He could. He can damn sure be in uh, uh, IUIC because you can you can line it. You can cut. You know, put a raise over here. Line your hair up. Have dreadlocks and braids in the front, cornrows in the back, and all that. You can rock it the way you want to rock it, which is all heathen, heathenness, heathenism. The apostle Paul was a man of the Lord. When this, when when the apostle spo Paul spoke, he spoke pursuant to the spirit that was on him to speak. So when he said spoke about a man having long, is not to have long hair. There was a reason behind that. Or oh, the dreadlocks goes back to heathenism. So anyway, uh, see these people right here, they're kind of halfway in Christianity and halfway in the world because what Christianity, what, what bigs Christianity up is you have to take, and tell me I'm lying, Vocab Malone, you have to take things from the world and Christianize it. Like skateboarding, right? The X Games, whatever they call it, X Games, X Sports. The, Christ, the Christians have their own thing. So they're doing th something that the world does, but they're putting the, you know, the Christian stamp of approval on it. The same thing with hip hop. Hip hop is secular music, music of the world. All these guys did was take secular music because they like the music, they like the beats, the rhymes, the rhythm, whatever you want to call it. And they Christianize it by, you might take out a word here and put a precept there, you know? You might say my redeemer in, you know, one of your, you know, one of the, 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 the cuts that you do, the songs that you do, the rap that you, that you perform. You Christianize it. And that's what so-called, you know, modern Christians are known for. They, they take things of the world that they like and they put it, they Christianize it. They put a little Christian word here. They label it Christian this, you know? And they even got rap battles. Where do you think they got the rap battle from? They got it from the world, but they Christianize it. So let's, let's listen. Like I said, I hadn't listened to this, so I don't know what they're going to say. Zadok, affiliated with God Mob. I was in a debate with Zadok. It was me and Hot Machine versus Zadok. And I believe, and I, be, and I believe this is Zadok from, from Hustler. Okay, from Hustler to Hebrew. Okay, he didn't say from Hustler to Christian to Hebrew. He cut out. He's, he, he, you know, 
Jake don't want to have nothing to do with that Christianity, that, you know, slave plantation renaissance Christianity. Let's listen to a little bit more, see what precepts come to mind. This is on a platform that's been taken down now called Black. Anybody remember Black? I said, is Jesus God? Zadok's response was, basically. That's what Zadok said to me. Jesus is God. God the Son. You have God the Father, God the Son, and you have the Holy Spirit. Read uh, St. John 1, verse 1. And this guy likes to teach that that all three in one. No, there's, there's three separate entities. Because if they were all one being, would not the Lord, would not the Lord, the Son of the Most High, know when the day of the Lord comes? No, it was it's it's only kept to the Father. So the only one that knows is the Father, or as they say, in Christianity, Father God. troubling because street hymns also pictured says Zadok is his mentor shout out to Zadok in a Lisa Fields interview just came out and then you see street he's a Christian I'm sorry this is this is street uh what is it street hymns he says he's an Israelite, he's Christian as far as religion goes, but his ethnicity is that he's Israelite. He identifies with the Israelites. Three hymns in a battle recently talking about a multiplicity of divine beings to rule the nations. That's his understanding of Psalm 82. That's not, if that was all, you could say, okay, that's a Heiser-like interpretation, maybe we could roll with that. But if you know in the background, Zadok is a teacher, and Zadok believes that Jesus, in essence, is created, it's soft Arianism. It is not Christian. It is not Christianity. Zadok is not a Trinitarian. That's why it matters. He, you may say, I don't know who Zadok is. He has influence within Fog Mob and now with Street Games, one of the most well known Christian battle rap artists. The tendency for people to be is maybe both kinds of party people. Maybe it's not a big deal. I heard him talk. Just chill out, man. Just relax. Most people who say that either are on their way to adopting troubling tenets of Hebrewism, or to be frank with you, they don't understand enough to realize it is a problem. Imagine in the first century, early second century, when Gnosticism was really coming out more and more in the early church. And someone said, hey, he sounds kind of like a Gnostic. He sounds like Marcion over here. Hey, man, he still affirms Jesus. He even says Jesus is God. Just relax. He, he affirms parts of the Bible. Just relax. It's destructive to the essence of the gospel the deeper you go and understand what's really happening beneath the surface. Secular hip art artists as well. Oh, the last one is Eshan Burgundy. I didn't even get to mention him much. Uh, dope artist, but he's, to be frank with you, probably the sloppiest he, he, when he talks about Hebrewism. It's a, it's a real mess. And that's because some of the people he follows as teachers. We could do a whole session on that. Secular hip hop artists, let's take a look at a few. Most people know Kendrick. Kendrick there is with Carl Duckworth. Carl Duckworth is the man who leaves the voicemail messages on the album Dan. If you've heard the album Dan, Carl Duckworth is the one with the voicemail messages. A former soldier in IUIC. That's a Purple and Gold Guys. Purple and Gold Guys are featured in the Ice Cube tweet. Ice Cube talking about your time is running out. Retweeting IUIC Indiana. So Ice, Ice Cube identifies with the Israelites, at least the IUIC of Indiana. Imagine the day. Snoop Dogg around the same time put out a video, and when he talked about unity, he showed a picture of Hebrew Israelites, specifically IUIC, the purple and gold guys. Kodak Black, not saying he's on a street corner, but he is hanging out with Elijah Zion. They did come and visit him when he was locked away. It's a whole thing with Kodak Black, because I know some of you say, but didn't he recently get saved? Pray for the young men. Yeah, he was a Hebrew Israelite. Then he became a he became born again Christian. Then he got went to jail. 
Then the last big thing we heard about him, there was a shootout. He got shot, not, I don't know if he got shot in the leg. I forget all the details, but there was a shootout, let's say. And he was out there on, I believe it was on a Friday, which is a Sabbath. So he, he basically uh, turned his back on being an Israelite and became born again Christian. You know, these, um, the, the scriptures speak about lukewarm revelation, uh, three verse 15, um, Duckworth, he goes by the same name, I believe family name, if I'm not mistaken, part of, uh, IUIC left IUIC became disenchanted. Uh, this is the cousin to Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar did a, did a, a video on the Israelites. He said, don't call me black. No, I'm, don't call me black no more. I'm an Israelite. And he became disenchanted. And, um, you know, you got Fat Joe. I don't know who this is. Looks at me. I'm sorry. I don't know who this is. Fat Joe identifies with Israelism, meaning he knows about these rappers. So, you know, every the, the hip hop world, they follow Kendrick, right? So when Kendrick came out with that song, everybody heard it. All the people in the, in the so-called hip hop community, they heard the song. They heard, don't call me black. They heard the lyrics. Don't call me black no more. I'm an Israelite. And uh, Vocab himself said, it works, to, works out to about uh, almost 13 million Israelites, meaning Jakes, black people, Negroes, so you can understand that identified himself with, with being Israelite. Let's listen to a little bit more. So, you know, this is um, the fulfillment of uh, Ezekiel 37. I keep bringing that up because that is happening right now. Ezekiel 37 and 10, they stood as a great army, not a, not a physical army to fight, but a spiritual army. And it says the same thing, pretty much the same thing in Revelation 11. And they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them that saw them. So, you know, vocab alone is just scared. Vocab, all he, get, all he has is him and his little motley crew of Negroes. His little peanut gallery, gallery that don't know scriptures. He doesn't know, he doesn't know prophecy. There, what can you do, Vocab Malone? What can you do to turn back, back 13 million people to being Christians? It ain't happening. It's Christianity, that plantation Christianity, that Renaissance Christianity is played out. You're not going to, look, if you, if you can, Convert one Israelite, one Jake that identifies with being an Israelite, back to Christianity once a day. That's going to take you, thir uh, damn, how many? 13 million days. That's a lot of years. You're going to die. Look, you, 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 you're losing. A, the, the race is already won. The kingdom is already here. The kingdom is Israel. The Lord said the kingdom of heaven is within you. So this is being established. When you see us on the streets, when, you, when we're constantly making videos, and I'm going to say this, anybody in GMS that's been in this thing for a certain amount of time, when I say a certain amount of time, three months, six months, a year, two years, if you're not doing videos, if you're not pushing this word, you should not be in GMS. You should leave GMS. If the spirit ain't on you, look, a lot of times the spirit ain't on me. I got to I gotta sit down for two, three hours and wait till the spirit hits me. So let's, let's, uh, let's go back. He's got multiple influences in his ear. That's not all, but let me show you some more. Entertainers, singers, actors. Let me show you. Nick Cannon, not saying he's Hebrew. Nick Cannon, yep, he identifies with Israelite. Uh, what is this guy's name? I forget his name, but he's he's in the Israel thing, and he's in it. You know, this is this is a way to make money. He sells garments and stuff. He's do, he's coming his own way. So he's not a real Israelite. He just knows he's an Israelite. He knows he's an Israelite. Why do you think he's wearing that turban, which is not a real turban? 
Um, I don't know who this. Oh, that's uh, what's her name? Damn, can't even think of a name. Uh, she won one of the first winners of the uh, the Idol. Damn, man, her name will come up. But she, but this in this video they were talking about, you know, the whole heat Israelite right thing. Damn, I can't. Shit. Uh, anyway, listen, listen up. Clearly, he has multiple viewpoints in his system, but he does adopt key tenets of Hebrew Israelism. This came out in this conversation with Professor Griff. Brandon T. Jackson. Now he's a Hebrew Israelite. Fantasia. Yeah, Fantasia. Fantasia. Uh, I saw that video. This guy, Brand, what's his name again? Brandon, what? Bear with me for a minute. Brandon T. Jackson. Brandon T. Jackson, he's got his own thing. He's not a part of any camp. He just has his own spin on Hebrew Israelism, and he sells T-shirts and fringes, and, you know, he turned it into a money-making venture. You know, you're not going to see him on the highways and the byways. You see that he's lined up, has a gold T going. You know, he ain't going to come under IUIC, he ain't going to come under any group, he's doing his own, he got his own thing and he's gonna get his own following because they know him from, you know, Hollywood. Fantasia is a member of GOCC. Her husband's the one who got her into it. GOCC, that's the worst group you can get. That's worse than IUI, uh, I, well, I don't know. ISUPK and I, uh, GOCC is about the same, but uh, she's going off because they're calling on, well, they say Edomites can make it. And they call on a name, Ahia by Shem Yishaya, which they're clearly going off. And this, and this cat right here led her into the GOCC. But she is in Gathering of Christ Church, which is a less than Orthodox or Israelite group. Bill Cosby, not saying he's a Hebrew Israelite, but he did tweet shout outs to his teachers who are all Old Testament only Hebrew Israelites. I didn't know that. Bill Cosby bigging up Israel. So he, in one way or another, knows that he's an Israelite, identifies with being an Israelite. Bill Cosby retweeting. Hebrews like tweets, or, or giving him a shout out in his tweet, brother. And uh, you guys remember the twins from Jagged Edge? Next slide. One of them is actually, uh, screen's a little dark, doing songs with Hebrews lights. This is a group called Sakari, one of the worst Hebrews like groups that's here, and they're in Tampa. Look up Tampa Sakari. Okay, he said that <laughs> Sakari is the worst, one of the worst. What he said at one time, GM, GMS was the worst. I guess so. Uh, they broke the record. So they had the worst, or one of the worst. Okay, uh, balling, featuring jagged, jagged edge, Hebrews, which is Hebrew mix. So let's go on. Doing songs with them, just by Ben Sakari, jagged edge. Not only that, athletes, let's look at basketball first. Forrest Grant at a Hebrew Israelite party, rocking the fringes. Carmel Anthony. Now you may say, but I thought he was with the Fivers. You can mix and match. And so that's why you're adopting certain elements of Hebrew Israelism. Again, doesn't mean you're putting on the fringes like Forrest Grant, apparently. Then even Dwight Howard, now his, his situation is confusing. What exactly does he hold to? He's, it's more in tweets and Instagram posts. Carmelo has actually said it on, on his IG lives that we are the people, et cetera, et cetera. Amari Stoudemire, he's in more orthodox. Carmelo Anthony is uh, like a darker, I believe he's Ephraim. I believe he's, he's, he's one of the so-called Latin Northern Kingdom, but you can see he's a Jake. Stoudemire, well, let, me, let me bring that back. Did I say his name right? I remember when he first got into it. He's following the IOG. Let's listen to that again. Amari Sotomayor. Sotomayor. He follows the I, 
uh, was an IOG Israel guide they teach Edomites and other nations to make it. He's in more Orthodox Judaism, and he actually does a lot of stuff in Israel these days, but he's an Old Testament only Hebrew Israelite. What about in? No, no, you're wrong on that. <laughs> you're wrong on that vocab. Correct that. Because the IO, the IOG, the Israel of God, they deal with the old as well as the new. Unless he left them and he's with another group. But as far as I know, he's still down with IOG, G, uh, Israel of God. I could be wrong. Well, football. Let's take a look at those guys. That's probably the most prominent field for Hebrew Israelism. We've got Straightway Church. All the pictures on the left side of the screen are from Straightway. Kabir, if you remember Green Bay, he's a Green Bay All-Star in their Hall of Fame. Sports Illustrated's three-part series on Kabir. They interviewed me for it. That's his pastor, Pastor Dow. And there you've got Kabir, and then you've got Robert Mathis, Daniel Murr, he's a former Indiana Colt player. you got Jamal Charles, and uh, I think the other guy is oh, always grabbed in. He's a JR. He's playing for the Patriots, the guy on the bottom of the, of the Arizona State. He went to Arizona State. I think J.R. Edmond, I'm going to say. I just forgot his name. But that's not that's not all. There's a lot more NFL players, even either current. And the chaplains that are with some of these groups have reached out to me and saying, these guys are going from Christian leaders in the locker room to now promoting Hebrew Israelism, which includes. Oh, we have a handful of brothers that play professionally. NFL, AFC, that are now Israelites that are heavy in, into, you know, this thing of this thing. Okay, let me let me re rewind that back. And this is fear. The chat, the chaplain of those particular, uh, I believe they're all from NF, NF, NFL, not AFC. They had to get this guy because he's an expert, <laughs> supposedly to talk to these guys, why? Because of the fear. Great fear fell upon them that saw them and they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them. So, you know, you're putting batteries in our back vocab. You're really helping us. The scriptures say you can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. So you're really helping the cause. And thank, thank you for letting me know through the Pew Research Center that there, there, that there are a quarter, a, a twenty-five percent of Jake identifies with being Israelites. Not that they're full-fledged members in camp camps. He went from the four percent to the nineteen percent altogether, twenty-three uh, percent, which represents about a little less than thirteen million. That's a that's a lot. Of, that's a big number right there. That's a big number. putting the law on everybody is one of the ways you know. But they don't only go to, you know, just studying at their house. Sometimes these guys actually get into actual camps. So really, you're, 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 you're putting wings on our back, Vocab Malone. You're putting batteries on our back. You're, help, you're helping the cause. You're pushing the gospel for us. And we have to constantly mention vocab because you're going to have Israelites vocab encounter Israelites that are not Israelites and they're going to say where did I hear that name vocab before oh the Israelites always talk about vocab alone the reason why we do these videos on vocab alone is he's a well that's Haman that's, that's officially Haman his thing his thing is to you know destroy the whole Israelite idea, and you can't destroy it because this is the most high. This is the most high's agenda. Sounded like like Lahab over there. Look, truth. This is the most high's agenda. Um, anyway, um, if you go to uh, X real quick, X uh, X five thirty eight on down, uh, Gamaliel, which that had to be the teacher of Paul. Gamaliel was the teacher of the Lord of Paul. I don't know if there's the same familiar, but I believe it is. Scholars, some scholars say yes, some say no. But anyway, he said, "Leave, let these men, let these men alone. Least happily ye be found to fight against the Most High." If this council 
be it the most high, you cannot overthrow it. If this, if this council be of the most high, you cannot overthrow it. Least happily ye be found to fight against the most high. So what is Vocab Malone doing? He's defying the most high. He's defying the, he's defying the black God in the heavens. I don't even like to use that word black, but I'm, I'm gonna use it. You know, you know what I mean when I say black, dark brown, almost black with a big Afro and mean as hell. The vision of Daniel, Daniel seven. So he's got something special, the vocab Malone. But in the meanwhile, vocab, vocab Malone is really helping the cause. Anyway, with that, I said I was going to make this short. Uh, with that, it's on to the next one.